Table below shows the value of two variables x and y obtained from experiment. Variable x and y are related by the equation y equal to p k power x plus 1, where p and k are constant. So this is the value of x and y on the table. Plot log y against x plus 1 by using a scale of 2cm to 1 unit on the x plus 1 axis, that is the horizontal axis, and 2cm to 0.2 unit on the log y axis, that is the vertical axis. Hence, draw the line of best fit. Again, for most of the past year question, you can actually get your big Y and big X from part A. So in this case, your big Y equal to log Y and the big x equal to x plus 1. So now you should have a table. The first row should be x plus 1 and the second row should be big y. So this is a table that you have to construct. This is x plus 1. How to get x plus 1? Very simple. When x is 1, x plus 1 will be 2. When x is 2, x plus 1 will be 3. When x is 3, x plus 1 will be 4. So how to get log 10y is very simple also. When y equal to 4, log 10 y will be log 10 4. Then you press the calculator. This will give you 0 0.6. So when y equal to 5.7, so you just press your calculator for log 10, 5.7. This will give your answer 0 0.76. So you can using the same concept to find all the value for the log 10 y. So now, the first step by drawing this graph here is to draw the vertical and horizontal axis. So this is your horizontal axis, should be a big X, which is X plus 1. Your vertical axis should be log 10 Y, which is your big Y. So now we look at the scale for the X plus 1 axis, that is 2 cm to 1 unit. So you have 0, 2 cm here, 1 unit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The highest here is 7. For the y axis, for the vertical axis, you have to use 2 cm to 0 0.2 units. 2 cm here is 0 0.2 units, so you have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. 0 0.8, 1, 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6. The highest value for log y should be 1.46 here. So these are the six points that you're supposed to draw on the graph. The first point here should be 2, 0 0.6, this point. The second point is 3, 0 0.76. The third point here should be 4, 0.94 and so on. Now I'm going to draw the line of best fit. So this is the lines of best fit. You can see here you have one point is slightly above this straight line and one point which is slightly below the straight line. Part B, use your graph on A to find the value of P and K. So this is the graph on part A. To find this value P and K, first we have to convert this equation to the form of Y equal to MX plus C. So the big Y will be the big Y shown on the graph, which is log 10Y. In order to get log 10Y, I have to multiply log 10Y both sides. Uh, log 10Y equal to log 10 P K power X plus 1. So for log, multiplications means addition so I have log 10 P plus log 10 K power X plus 1 you can always bring your power in front so your X plus 1 log 10 K plus log 10 P so now you can arrange in the form of Y equal to MX plus C you have log 10 Y equal to log 10 K multiply with X plus 1 plus log 10 P. So you can see here this is your big Y which is log 10 Y. Your big X here also you got the big X shown in this graph that is X plus 1. Therefore your gradient equal to log 10 K and your vertical intersect C equal to log 10 P. 
So now we can find the vertical intersects here on the graph. This is roughly 0 0.28. So you can actually draw on your graph paper because this graph is too small for you to see. So now your C is 0 0.28 this equal to log 10 p your p will be anti log of 0 0.28 which is 10 power 0 0.28 this equal to 1.905 to get a gradient we have to find two points from the graph so the first point here is 0 0 0.28 so the second point here should be this point 5.5, So using this point, we can get the gradient for this graph. So the gradient formulas is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This equal to gradient. So your gradient equal to 1.2 minus 0 0.28 divided by 5.5 minus 0. This equal to 0 0.16727. Therefore, your log 10k equal to m, which is 0 0.16727. k equal to nt log of 0 0.16727. You should press your calculator. The answer should be 1.470.